Hi everyone, in this video we'll look at a small scale strength test of two popular interior wood glues. Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue and Tight Bond's original wood glue. The test samples were made with 1 quarter by 3 quarter Douglas fir trim. I actually tried a 1 by 2 at first but did not have enough weight to break the bond. The Elmer's samples were marked with an E and the Tight Bond samples marked with a T. The samples will be glued together on the short end or cross grain and S hooks inserted on opposite ends to test the pull or bond strength of the glue. Three samples were glued together with the tight bond glue and clamped together. And three samples were made with the Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue. All samples were allowed to dry for 24 hours. The simple test rig that was used to test the strength of superglue was used for this test as well. The rig is a simple lever and the samples were placed between the two S hooks. First up was the Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue. I didn't know what to expect so I started off at 10 pounds in five pound increments. I was pretty impressed with the strength of the Elmer's wood glue that finally failed at 60 pounds. I didn't notice any wood tear out so it looked more like the bond or glue itself failed. Sample 2 of the Elmer's wood glue had similar results but failed at 55 pounds and sample 3 Elmer's wood glue failed at 60 pounds next up was the tight bond original wood glue I also didn't know what to expect with the tight bond so I started with 10 pounds in 5 pound increments I was really impressed with the tight bond, which ultimately failed at 80 pounds. Sample 2 surprisingly failed at 55 pounds. And sample 3 did better, failing at 70 pounds. And here are the results of pounds successfully held. Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue averaged 53.3 pounds and Tight Bond Original wood glue averaged 63.3 pounds. So in this head-to-head -head battle, Tight Bond's Original wood glue came out ahead.